Vic VP here, check it out. The Data East WWF Royal Rumble received a pin to DMD upgrade. Out with the flickering old and in with the new. Let's enter that coin and talk about it. It's time to rumble. It's time to rumble. Now upon scoring this $2,000 WWF Royal Rumble, I already had some modifications in mind. One major one was going to be a color DMD. There are several options out in the market, such as color DMD and pin to DMD. I went honestly the cheaper route. I could not be any more happier. Now before purchasing this, I did go to the person's house, power on the machine, and I did realize that the original orange DMD display was flickering. Upon some research, there are two issues that could possibly be arising. We either have a bad DMD panel or the power supply in the cabinet might need to be recapped. Now me, I already wanted a color DMD, so that was not an issue, but I did have a worry. Possibly I would have to recap the power supply. Not all the caps would need to be recapped, but if you are doing a recap, you might as well recap all of the capacitors on that power supply. Now before going to the extent of getting a whole cap kit, I was doing some research on Color DMDs for pinball machines. There's really two different companies. You could go the Color DMD route or you could do the Pin 2 DMD. Two amazing products, but two very big price differences. Now doing much research and also reaching out to my local pinball arcade, Pinball Long Island, I spoke to the owner Josh and asked his opinions on Color DMDs as his 88 machines, several of them do have colored DMDs. He did tell me, Vic, if you are gonna go this route, be sure you are getting an LED panel. Avoid LCD, as it looks god awful. Now at Pinball Long Island, he has several machines with colored DMDs. One, a Spider-Man Vault Edition running an LCD color DMD, and an Indiana Jones running an LED color DMD. Seeing them side by side, it is a huge drastic difference. The LCD DMD, it's almost like a TV screen, almost like virtual pinball that I have downstairs. It is trying to mimic these dots. And some dots are a little bit bigger than others and some animations just don't look correct on an LCD color DMD. But an LED color DMD, it looked like a thing of beauty. Now I did mention in a past video, this machine is a machine that I do want, but I do have plans to flip it and trade up. With that in mind, shelling out almost $600 for a color DMD is a little bit of a stretch for what I wanna pay for a machine that I may or may not keep. Which brings me to pin to DMD with a coupon code, 220 bucks including shipping from Australia, I now have a non-flickering and also colorized DMD. It is one of several modifications that I believe is a must have on this machine. This pin to DMD has several advantages aside from the price point. Yes, it is an actual LED panel. This is not an LCD. Not to mention it was virtually plug and play. I went on the website, I did pick WF Royal Rumble. The company sent over all the parts needed, especially for the power supply converter. And within about 30 minutes, I was up and running and very happy to see that there is no flickering. Now keep in mind, that does not mean that I should not recap the power supply. I do plan to do that. But now I'm able to actually fully see the DMD without flickering and enjoy colorized animations. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of my new pin to DMD? Should I have gone the color DMD route? What do you have on your caps? Look at that. Looks like my credit is up. Game over.